Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Do The Work. Here, we're going to tackle question 18 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. I encourage you to attempt this problem by yourself and always to hit the subscribe below to support the channel and receive notifications for all future videos as well. I would really appreciate that. So without further ado, let's attack, let's attack question 18. And we're asked, if a bag contains 170 marbles, they're just little balls of different colors, and we have red, blue, and yellow marbles in a ratio of 9, 3, 5. How many yellow marbles does the bag contain? So, in other words, the, the first step to solving any problem is to understand what we're doing here. You can watch the video on Khan Academy, but really what I would recommend is to consider a, uh, sorry about that, a bag with, this is a bag if you didn't pick that up, and maybe I'll use different colors here. So we have um, five yellows, one, two, three, four, five, we have three blues, one, two, three, and we have nine reds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many total do we have in the bag? We have nine plus three. So the total is equal to nine plus three plus five. And that is 12 plus 5, so that's 17 marbles, right? So now that we have 17 marbles, we know that, that well, specifically we're asking for um, how many yellow marbles does the bag contain. So let, let this be step 1, find total. And then step 2 would be yellow divided by total to find the proportion. So then that would be how many yellows do you have? You have five over 17. So then that means that uh, maybe I'll write it here. Um, in other words, and we're trying to keep in mind, this is in the 17 marble bag, but we have 170 marbles. So there's two ways we can go about this. One is to go the percentage route, and the other one is to go equivalent fraction. So maybe I'll I will keep the keep it in the in the middle, and I'll go two separate ways about this. So I'll make this smaller. It doesn't need to be that big. And let's go this method. So equivalent fraction, but this method won't always work. Okay. So we have an equivalent fraction that would be five over 17. And then we need over um, 170, right? So it's easy in this case that it's times 10 and times 10 on the top. And then we would get 50 over 170. And so then that means that there's 50 marbles, 50 yellow marbles. Therefore, we conclude that it's this one. The other method is to go the percentage method. And I would recommend this one because it works all the time, not just when it's a nice number that we can do times 10. So what we would do is we would do five over 17, which is equal to five divided by 17. That's 29.41, right? So in other words, that means that 29% of the ball marbles in the bag are yellow, All right? So then if 29% of the marbles in the bag, what we can do is simply do 29 or 0 0.29. I'll type it in. 0 0.29 times the 170 to find out how many are 
uh, yellow. So it's approximately, and what if I type for one to be a bit more precise, we might get a better number. Yeah, it's approximately 50 as well, right? But let's say we want it to be exact, then what we would do is keep the fraction, right? So five over 17 times 170. And then you can see that you can cancel this by dividing by 17. And then this would become divide by 17 as well. And then that would be 10. And then that's five times 10, which is 50. We don't even need a calculator in this case, again, because it's nice numbers. So again, we have 50 yellow marbles in the bag. That's it. We solved the question. I hope this makes sense. As a challenge, you can find how many of the other colors there is in the bag and add them up. See if you get 170. That's something you could do. But then the third step to solving any problem is to build some intuition of like, let's go a little bit deeper. So here I decided to go way deeper than we usually go and introduce some programming because this is a very useful tool. I opted to use R. So this is in R, that's a programming language. So programming, programming language. And I preferred to use this one because that's what I use in my statistics at school often. And it's, it's pretty, um, it resembles English. So what I'll do here is I'll just walk you through the script and don't worry, the script will be in the description below. And so here what I do is I just uh, use the 935 from here, just for each color. And then I put it in a vector. So I'll, I'll just write this is a vector containing uh, nine. So let's say a vector that with nine, three and five. And then the total you just add these up. So that's nine plus three plus five, that's 17. And then the probabilities is just another vector with the probability. So that would be nine over 17, three over 17 and five over 17. So for example, the probability of yellow would be uh, 0.29, right? And then what I do is I sample. So I create a simulation. So this is a simulation. So I make the computer pick 1000 marbles for me. So like it's it's almost like you can test stuff out in real life with real marbles, but do it with a computer. It, it's so much faster and you can do it with a hundred thousand or a million or it doesn't matter. It's just as fast. And so what you do is you pick between red, blue and yellow. So these are your options in the bag. Options in the bag. You have three types of colors and you pick 1000. That's the size of the bag. And every time you pick one, you replace it, right? So you, I would pick a marble instead of leaving it out because then it changes the number of marbles in the bags and the probabilities. And then I just assign the probability. So for red, you have nine out of 17 chance for blue. You have three out of 17 chance and for five, you have five out of 17 chance. And now you, I created a table of probabilities. So uh, the, the, the amount that we actually sampled divided by the total, and then I checked the true probabilities of each one. So note that is just the 29.4 that we got from earlier by dividing five over 17 and so on. So these are the true ones. And then these are the in the bag, like what we actually pulled out. So it turns out that 28% of the time we picked yellow, which is very close to 29% of the time. And uh, red, we picked 54%. So that's red here. Maybe I'll just, I'll keep the color. So that's red. And then that's blue is 17. So again, they're very close. And then yellow, they are very close as well. So you can see that by picking a thousand time, we get very similar values. 
Again, the code will be in the description below and shoot me an email if you're not sure and you'd be interested in learning how to program with R. There's lots of good resources I would love to share with you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.